We are indeed with Nazi Paikiza after a tremendous victory. Nazi, congratulations. First of all, this was a very tense match, but it felt like you were putting on the pressure from the get-go. Even yesterday with the black pieces, it felt like you had the dominant position. Did you feel like that as well? Uh, yes, it, I did feel like that. And Anna is a very tough opponent for me. I have never beaten her. Mm. This is my first time. Uh, turns out yesterday I missed a chance. There was a tactic that I missed in time trouble. Uh, so today I was really hoping to get a position where I could fight for a win and not get very dry Catalan draw position. Mm -hmm. So I was quite happy with the line she chose when she took on F4. Uh, All the way here. Yes, after that we get messy pawn structure and I was even considering to cast a long, although I think that's Did you know crazy. this variation up to this point? or? I glanced at it this morning. Okay. <laughs> I prepped so much, but I didn't expect this exact line, and I just very quickly looked at it. So I just had an idea that it's pretty okay for white, and I can attack on the king side. So mm -hmm. I was happy with that. And she was spending also a lot of time, and it I mean, felt like Anna. this was a trademark of this matchup. Anna was spending a lot of time, yeah. you were playing very quickly. Did you prepare specifically for this type of situations? Uh, I mean, I've known Anna for a long time, and she's always in time trouble. When we were teammates at the Olympiad, she was sitting next to me, and after move 10, she would have 10 minutes, and it would make me nervous. <laughs> so I was expecting that. And uh, today, honestly, I was planning on that, mm -hmm. that if she gets in time trouble and I have a chance to attack, I'll definitely go for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it did feel like your attack just simply was coming naturally in yes. the position. And you played this move that really impressed us. Rook to G1? Rook to G1, <laughs> yes, yes. How did you yeah. come to uh, this conclusion? Oh, I love that move. Uh, I didn't expect F6, and when she played it, um, I immediately saw Rook G1, and if she takes on E5, I can take on E5 with either pawns, but I was going to take with D, Bishop before checking F1, and I'm getting that Bishop back with A3, A3 and B4. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also Knight F6 threat. And if she tries um, to defend it, yeah. let's say B5 to make space, you have there's Knight F6, F6 right yeah. now. And uh, yeah, this just felt natural. I didn't really calculate. I was playing more instinctively at this mm -hmm, point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, she uh, played this move c5, which allowed you to go knight to c4. The key moment was here, actually, before d takes c5. I paused because I noticed I had d5. Mm -hmm. And it looked very interesting because I'm threatening d6. If she takes queen d5, I win. And. But then I saw she can play bishop d8, and as ridiculously passive as that is, I couldn't find anything else after that. She and you probably okay have to here. play it slow at this point, something yeah. like knight d6, take advantage yeah, of the lines I'm still better, first. but there's nothing immediate, and uh, it was frustrating. You wanted the material. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to take on c5. So I took on c5. Yasser yes. probably recommends that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just to interrupt you for one second, Alice Lee did indeed finish this match with Two zip. Impressive score. Let's uh, continue. Knight to c6. And you were feeling like you were taking over at this point, yes. right? Yes. Plus, she didn't have any time, so that helped a lot. Um, yeah, I like that I brought the queen over because queen did its jab on h5, and I had to bring it back to the queen side. Getting closer to these pieces yeah. on this side, putting some pressure on e6. Very nicely done. My only problem in this game was that at times, I had too many good options <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and couldn't decide which move to make. And Irina has won her game as well, and she finishes it with two zip. Wow, very combative uh, matchups in the ladies' All the section. games were decisive. Do we have any playoffs in the women's no. section? No. 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 no, no playoffs, yeah. No playoffs in uh, the women's section. Uh, did you have any problems at any point? Did you feel like you were slipping at any point, or it just felt smooth? No, uh, I thought I was winning pretty much after winning the pawn. Uh, she did keep finding the only moves uh, with 30 seconds on the clock, but I still had the time advantage, so I didn't let her escape. Nazi, congratulations. A uh, huge victory for you against Anna Zdansky. Guys, any questions? For Our congratulations. If you're going to win a game, uh, Nazi, uh, w winning... Uh, when it, it was a decisive moment. That's a good time <laughs> to finally get a victory. Our congratulations, and I know exactly what you meant 
when you said as an Olympic teammate, you were sitting next to her and you're getting nervous. I was the team captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous for the whole round, you know. But uh, our congratulations. Good luck uh, in Thank the next round. Much. Yes, well done.